Tonight on Beer Review for David Pugh, it's Craig Boone, obviously Cherry Beer. Alright Dav, well, I'm not particularly looking forward to this, but I'll just give it a go. I suppose the only good thing about it is it's only 250ml, so it um, shouldn't be suffering for too long. It kind of smells like wine. I was discussing with Evil Pete, or was it on the beer review guys chat about if it's if it's cherry is it still beer or because it's like brandy that's made of cherries it yeah it doesn't really resemble beer at all it's kind of reminds me more of like um kind of like champagne is like the closer Description like cherry, cherry champagne. It's very bubbly. It's um, it is quite quite dry actually. It's maybe it's somewhere in the middle. But I was expecting it to be quite sweet. It isn't actually dead sweet. Maybe it also reminds me of like um, quite cheap. Horrible side like uh, white lightning or pulse or something like this. Not, not quite as minging as that, but you know, if I if I was one of the guys who was writing the description on a bottle, I would probably put t- taste of white lightning or something. Hint, hints of white night, hint white lightning after taste. I don't know. Let's have a swig off the bottle. See if it makes it any better. Worse. It says on the bottle it was harvested in 2020, which, as we know, 2020 is the worst year in history. Noticed on the back, it's got like a picture of a bottle on its side crossed out, and it did actually store it in the fridge on its side, so perhaps perhaps it would have tasted nicer if it didn't do that. I don't know. I'm sh- it's a shame I've only just noticed this now because it's been on its side for like two weeks. Right, Dav. Nearly finished it. I'm going to give it three David Pews out of ten. It's, yeah. Like I expected. I I don't know. Yeah, it was as I expected. I I just wouldn't like it. Um, So, yeah. Let's hope the next one's a good one. Cheers, Pew. Bye.